So earlier this year, Princess Catherine disappeared from the public eye and we did not see her for months. And the internet literally went crazy. I'm sure that you guys remember that. I mean, like the women on TikTok were FBI level sleuthing. The conspiracy theories were wild. We did a whole episode about it because it just would not stop for literally months. But the thing was, she and the royal family did tell the world that Princess Catherine would not be making any public appearances, at least until after Easter. They knew that she was dealing with some kind of health problem, was gonna be laying low, and the internet still went wild. I mean, you could literally not tame the conspiracy theories. Well, Joe Biden did not tell the world that he was going to be laying low. He did not tell the world that he was going through some health crisis and was gonna disappear from the public eye, and yet, we have no idea where he is. Literally no clue if he's alive, if he's doing well, what's going on. It is complete chaos. She dropped out of the race, sir. He withdrew from the election with a tweet. He endorsed Kamala. She now has enough support to get the nomination. She has broken records with her fundraising and still there is no sign of life from Joe Biden. And because of that, I think that the internet should be a lot more concerned than they were about Princess Catherine, who literally gave us all the information. Before we dive into this story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the comment section channel if you've not already, and of course, you can ring that notification bell if you never wanna miss one of our comment section episodes. Okay guys, before we get into the story though, I do have to address something that I've seen in the comment section. You guys are always telling me that I never drink out of my coffee cup. Well, today, I literally can't because it's a candle. And so I think now is the perfect time to announce my new collection with the Candle Club. And I know that I should not play favorites, but I do think that this is probably my favorite candle in my collection because it is literally a piece of my set. The candle comes in the exact mug that I sometimes do not drink out of in every one of my episodes. And this one just smells literally amazing. It is vanilla and praline. It smells like one of my favorite lattes. You will wanna drink it or eat it. Obviously, please do not because it is a candle. But the fun thing is, once you burn this candle all the way down, you can wash this mug and then we can and drink our coffees together. And don't worry because these are super high quality candles. You guys know that I care a lot about ingredients. So I made sure that this is hand poured and it will give you a great clean burn. And so if you're interested in buying this or you wanna see the rest of my collection, you can head on over to thecandleclub.com and get shopping. All right, enough with the candle ads. Let's dive into this story because again, we have no idea where Biden is. So what we do know for sure is that earlier this week, Biden got COVID. And it's ironic that he has now gotten COVID three times in the last two years when he literally told all of us that we should follow his lead and get vaccinated so that that would not happen. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Powerful leader, for sure. Anyway, he tested positive for COVID while he was out on the road, and they quickly whisked him away back to the East Coast to his house in Delaware, where he has allegedly been for the last week. But we have not seen him since then. But on Sunday, as I'm sure all of you guys know by now, if you do not, go watch my latest episode. He dropped his statement on social media, very fishy, with an abnormal signature, no presidential seal, and we have heard nothing else. No video address to the nation, no speech, no state of the union, which if you're pulling out of the election because you are too senile to run the country, I think your constituents might want to know if you should still be president right now, but no, nothing, no press conferences, nothing from his team, just that tweet. So obviously people got concerned. One guy said, I'm about as immune to conspiracy theories as a person can be. And even I'm at the point of thinking, where the hell is Joe Biden? Another guy said, I strongly dislike Joe Biden to put it mildly, but I sincerely hope that he's okay and not dead. Where is Joe Biden? Riley Gaines said, it's the following day. There has been no press conference, no interviews, no photos or posts from him. It's been asked, but it's worth reiterating, where is Joe Biden? Marjorie Taylor Greene said, in October of 2020, President Trump had COVID and the White House released a photo of him working in the Walter Reed Hospital conference room. Joe Biden has COVID, is forced to drop out of the race by letter, but no one has seen him. Where is Joe Biden? What are they hiding? Now, something else that is incredibly weird is that the Prime Minister of Israel, Netanyahu, had a trip scheduled to DC to meet with Biden. He arrived yesterday and neither Biden nor Kamala were there to meet him. I don't know whose hands he was shaking, but Biden and Kamala were not there. And then the meeting was canceled after he had already arrived. World Net Daily said Netanyahu arrived in the United States today and neither President Biden nor Vice President Harris were there to welcome him. This is incredibly strange and unusual. Where is Joe Biden? I mean, way to look like we're all put together and doing well on the world stage. Nothing like ghosting global leaders as a sign of strength, which obviously, considering everything that's going on in the world right now, we obviously need more than ever. I mean, we've joked about this for a while, but we have now literally sent a message to the world saying that Joe Biden is not equipped to serve. GCU, though, will equip you to serve your community and find your purpose. Grand Canyon University is a private Christian university in the beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. GCU believes in equal opportunities and that the American dream starts with a purpose. GCU equips you to serve others in ways that promote human flourishing and create a ripple effect of transformation for generations to come. Whether you're pursuing a bachelor's or a master's or a doctoral degree, GCU has options for you. They have online programs, on-campus programs, and hybrid learning environments that are designed to 
to help you achieve your unique academic, professional, and personal goals. With over 330 academic programs as of December 2023, GCU meets you where you are and provides a path to help you fulfill your dreams. The pursuit to serve others and do it well, unlike Joe Biden, is truly yours. So find your purpose today at Grand Canyon University. It is private, it's Christian, and it's affordable. Visit gcu.edu slash cooper. Again, that is gcu.edu slash cooper to learn more. Anyway, the point is, there is real reason to be concerned. And then Charlie Kirk dropped this banger of a tweet. He said, I got a weird lead on a story that people should look into. I got a call from a source close to Las Vegas Metro. The official story was that Joe Biden's trip was cut short last week due to COVID. However, according to this source, U.S. Secret Service informed Las Vegas Metro that there was an emergency situation involving Joe Biden and to close necessary streets so that POTUS could be transported immediately to University Medical, which they began to do in earnest. Then mysteriously, there was a stand-down order and the USSS informed local Las Vegas PD that they were going to medevac POTUS to Johns Hopkins, which they presumed men fly him back east ASAP. Apparently, the rumor mill in the police department was that Joe Biden was dying or possibly already dead. Hello. I didn't think too much about this lead. It seemed too wild to be true. But given that Joe Biden has been out of public sight for days and dropped out of the race via an ex post, his brother James indicated that health was a factor. I'm beginning to grow more curious if COVID or something else has been more serious than reported. So you guys heard that. But to sum it up, basically, Charlie is saying that they could be using COVID as a cover and a reason that he's not being seen. But it's actually really something far more serious, which is why he was rapidly whisked away back home. Now, this tweet blew up immediately. It got over 22 million impressions and email started rolling into Charlie. He posted this later and he said, update, I have received multiple emails like this one confirming many elements of the story. Many have confirmed that a call went out to block streets to get Biden to University Medical Trauma Center ASAP. And then the plan abruptly changed and they got him onto Air Force One very quickly. I have not confirmed the IDs of these people, but there are an overwhelming number of stories corroborating essentially the same account that I feel comfortable sharing. I have people diving deeper into this now. I mean, it is just wild. He posted another tweet from a reporter, I think that she's with the Daily Mail, who said that the flight back to the East Coast was unusual fast and unusually short that the plane was literally shaking midair because of how fast they were flying. And of course, even with all of this going out, even with 22 million impressions and all of these rumors speculating, we have heard nothing from the Biden camp. One guy said something that I'm noticing. I have not seen a single post that is wishing the worst. We only want to know what is going on. Correct. And I think for most normal people with empathy, we genuinely care what happens to a man who has been used and propped up by his advisors and his family for literal years. I wanna know what is going on. As an American, I also care what is happening to my president. That is normal. I don't wish him the worst by any means. We just wanna know what is going on. Now to connect this back to the Princess Catherine story, another missing person in the public eye story, if you remember when she was missing, someone, her, somebody on her team, social media intern posted a terribly photoshopped photo of her and her kids, seemingly photoshopping it and updating it, again, very terribly, to make it seem like it wasn't taken six months prior. But of course, internet sleuths connected all the dots, found videos of her and the kids in those exact same outfits back from November. They put all the pieces together. They realized this was a botched Photoshop job. Obviously, that was a terrible move, either from Kate or her social media interns, whoever was doing that, and it only made the internet more concerned and made the conspiracies worse. And that is when all the rumors that Will was cheating on her and that she was actually dead really started to to blow up. And the whole thing was just ridiculous because obviously Kate was alive. She was just still dealing with all of her health problems cited at the beginning of the year. They should have just said that. Don't fake a photo and make things worse. Anyway, Kamala and Joe's camp had the opportunity to learn from those mistakes and yet they did not because Kamala got up yesterday to speak to her staff, which was filmed and published, and she called Joe. She called Joe. And kind of like that Princess Kate botched Photoshop job, nobody believes that this is real. Just watch. It is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the on the call and we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. We? And we do, everybody here does. It's mutual. <laughs> It's like the weird Wizard of Oz, like the voice booming down from above. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. Where is he? Where is he coming from? Is he alive? Is it a recording? We have no idea. He's just coming through the speakers. Biden is everywhere and nowhere, apparently. You're not going anywhere, Joe. I'm watching you, kid. <laughs> I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. So, so strange. Now, did you catch the beginning? When she was saying, you know, Joe, are you still on the Rick? And then she switched to phone call. Everyone online thinks that she was about to say recording and then caught herself 
and said phone call. Like, is this AI? Was that pre-recorded? Is this fake? Like, why couldn't he just join on a Zoom call? It's 2024. Everyone knows how to Zoom. If you have COVID, you get on your Zoom. That is how it works. Why is there literally no sign of him whatsoever? I mean, again, think back to that photo of Trump in 2020. He had COVID. He was in the hospital. He was quarantined. They were still taking photos of him saying he is still there. He is working. But nothing of Biden. Nothing. And by hiding him away, if he is alive and well, as well as he can be at his age and having COVID, you're only fueling the fire and creating more chaos and concern, which uh, maybe is their goal. I don't know why you would be doing that, but maybe they're trying to. Like, nothing makes sense. And this whole charade that Kamala put on was just so, so cringe. Here's another example. Joe, are you watching? You hear this clapping? <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching. I knew it. It's like so terrible. God, I hope she does not get elected. I cannot survive four or eight years of a Kamala presidency. Now, the comments under that video are my favorite. This girl said, she thinks we all just fell out of a coconut tree. Yeah, we are not that dumb, Kamala. Something is not adding up. Now, Biden did not just talk with Kamala at this little event. Here's another clip from this meeting where Joe talks directly to his staffers, and people online have directed people to listen to the clarity with which he is speaking and the woman's face. So pay attention to that. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it's hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me to help us win this thing, help me get this nomination, help me win the nomination, and then go on to win the, win the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an amazing team, but we've got a great, great, I think we made the right decision. I mean, that is the first time that he has not been completely tripping over his words, stuttering, or had a brain fart in months. Like, he basically made it through a minute of speaking when he knew that it was going to be publicized. This is not just him speaking in private. He made it through. And that woman's face does not exude confidence or honesty whatsoever. I mean, that eye roll that she did mid-sentence was just chef's kiss. Somebody said he could call in for this, but he couldn't address the nation to say that he's pulling from the race. Again, does not add up. Somebody else said, either way, he's going to end up voting for Harris. Too good. That is the best comment of the entire day. Dead or alive, that vote will be going to the Democrats. Now, again, maybe all of this is just speculation. Maybe none of this is true. Maybe he's totally fine. He's just sleeping away, eating some chalky chalky chip in Delaware. But the way that all of this has been handled is so unbelievably irresponsible and messy. Like, we have one of the most consequential elections for both parties in our lifetimes in less than four months. There are two major global conflicts raging across the world that we are involved in. We are financially weak. We are in perilous debt. We need confidence in our leaders. And this is what's happening. I mean, it is a mess. And it's right on the heels of the opposing candidate surviving an assassination attempt. Like, I do not even want to know what the world thinks of us right now. And so Biden's team needs to give Americans clarity one way or another. Because right now, it literally feels feels like we do not have a president, and we literally might not. So no wonder people are speculating. Hey guys, Brett here. For more stories and videos just like that, make sure you subscribe to my show. See you next time.